Hello beautiful people! Today on Blessify we're here with an exciting recipe for beautiful pakoras. So let's get started! We have everything nicely laid out. So we need the main ingredient here which is the chickpea flour, also called gram flour or besan. We need two cups of that. So this is the one we use. So you can find this at most Indian stores. Next we have a tomato, finely chopped, coriander, chopped. We also have cumin seeds, one tablespoon of that, one tablespoon of ajwain or carom seeds. If you don't have this, just forget about it. Next we have salt, black pepper and coriander powder, one teaspoon each. Freshly grated ginger, one tablespoon. Freshly grated garlic, one tablespoon, and three to four chili peppers. But if you don't like it too spicy, you can just reduce it or increase it depending on your taste. We have green onions, one half cup. Next, you need two potatoes peeled and finely sliced. So your pakoras are going to take the shape of these potatoes. We have some water and we also have some baking powder. So let's get started. We have a quarter teaspoon of baking powder that we're going to add to the gram flour. And we add in all of the ingredients that we have nicely laid out in like a flour shape. So the cumin seeds, the caram seeds, in goes the coriander, the tomatoes. So just add in everything that we have. There goes the salt, black pepper, and coriander powder. The ginger. You can also use ginger powder or garlic powder if you don't have the fresh ingredients. But it's also be it's always better to include the fresh ingredients to get the best taste possible. So there goes the chili peppers. Now we use three, three to four chili peppers, and this gave the Pakora is like a mild, not too spicy taste. So if you want to reduce it, you can reduce it. Or if you really like it spicy, you can add four or five, six chili peppers. It all depends on you. So now we're going to mix. We used our hand. You can wear a glove. You can also, not, if you don't have gloves, just use your hands. It's okay. It's a bit sticky. So, so for now, we didn't add any water. We're just going to mix it with our hand. Um, we want to incorporate all of the flour. Next we add in the potatoes. Continue mixing with your hands. We want to make sure that all of the potatoes are covered with the batter. So now we're just going to speed it up a little bit. So we're just going to mix, mix, mix. Add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want to add too much to make it runny. So we added like about a tablespoon at a time just to make sure that the flour is nicely incorporated. There's no dry bits in there. So we're going to leave this out to rest on the counter for 15 minutes. So put some plastic wrap on it and leave it on the counter. After about 15 minutes, you can get ready to fry. So we add some oil, a lot of oil actually, to a, a skillet because we're going to deep fry them. So add in the oil, try to use the best quality vegetable oil. So we're going to just give the batter a mix with our hands just to make sure everything is evenly mixed. And you see that the potatoes have softened. And the batter is not too runny and not too sticky. It's just right. We also laid out a plate with some paper towel. So once the pakoras are done frying, we're going to let it sit on the paper towel. It's going to absorb the extra oil. Begin by testing to see if the oil is hot enough for frying. Drop a little bit of the batter into the oil. And you'd like the oil to start bubbling as soon as you drop it in. So here we see that it's not bubbling, that means it's not hot enough for frying. We're going to wait a few seconds until the oil is the right temperature. So here is the right temperature. We see that the oil is starting to bubble. 
at this point we can start making the pakoras. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to take one potato and evenly coat both sides with, with some batter and then gently drop it into the oil. You're not going to touch the oil with your fingers here. If, you're, if you don't want to do it this way, you can also use a spoon to scoop out the batter and drop it into the oil. But my mom here is used to doing this. She's been doing this for decades, so she's a pro at it. You know, I was really scared looking at her. I was like, how are you doing this? Are you not scared of burning your hands? She's like, no, this is not, this is not hard at all. She's old school. She likes to do everything by her hand. So here's a slower So you see she did not touch the oil at all with her hands. But if you don't trust yourself and you're scared that you're going to burn your fingers, by all means go ahead and use a spoon. So this kind of uh, skillet allows us to make about a dozen pakoras at a time. Just find an empty gap and add in the batter wherever you can. So it takes about five minutes for the pakoras to fry and be cooked on the inside. So you wanna make sure that your stove is on medium. It's not too high, not too low. We don't want to burn them on the outside and then still be raw on the inside. So just keep flipping them. We want them to turn a nice brown color and be completely cooked on the inside. So we're going to keep cooking them, we're going to keep stirring them, make sure you get all of them. The ones that you placed into the oil first are the ones that are going to come out first. So here we see that they're turning a nice beautiful golden brown color. We want the color to be a little bit deeper than this. So we're going to keep frying for a few more minutes. In total, it's going to take about five minutes for the whole batch to be cooked. So at this point, this is the color that we like. So using the strainer, we're going to, we're going to uh, shake off the extra oil and place the pakoras on a paper towel to soak up the extra oil like this. And once you've removed all of the pakoras from the skillet, you can start again until you've finished the batter completely. So with this recipe, you can make about three dozen pakoras. And now you can start placing them again into the oil. After your first batch, you can do a simple test to see if the pakoras turned out just right, if they're cooked on the inside, if the level of spiciness or the salt level is right for you. You can uh, adjust the batter accordingly, so if it's lacking a bit of salt, add in some more. Once you're done frying, put them on a beautiful platter, serve it with some chutney. Here we have mint chutney. The recipe for this is also coming up. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you're going to try it out. Let us know how it works out for you. If you have comments or questions, leave them below. We're going to answer them. And please like, subscribe to our channel for more delicious recipes coming up. Thank you for watching Blessify, a place where we hope to add blessings in your day, in your home, and in your life.